On Wednesday, June 29th, in the honor of the late First Lieutenant Doyle Hufstedler, who was killed in action on March 31st, 2004, his wife Leslie Hufstedler Alvarez and their daughter Gracie visited Fort Knox to have dinner with a handful of cadets. The fact that uh, we were able to, you know, get to actually meet his family is also just something that um, is really great for all of us and well, was something that we'd like to give back to do. So personally, I'm in the same uh, company that he was in when he was at a and It's, you know, it's really awesome getting to see, like, you know, I've seen this story on the wall, but I've never actually been able to put a face or a family to it. Um, so being able to actually sit down and meet with his family and take that back and be able to tell um, the other cadets back at our school about it and kind of, you know, tell them about a little, maybe a little bit more about him, learn about a little bit more about him tonight, and I think that's pretty awesome. Good luck to dear old Texas Aggies. They are the ones who show the real old fight, the eyes. Cadet Murphy, who serves as the mentor to Gracie, had the opportunity to spend some quality time with the family during the dinner. Um, my brother was killed in Iraq in 2005, so um, that's really how I got into the program. My mom kind of forced me into the program. It wasn't something that I wanted to do, but I ended up loving it. Um, as the mentee, I had a mentor myself who really inspired me and helped me throughout my whole grieving process. Um, and that kind of motivated me to, you know, give back and, you know, be that person for someone else. I hooked up with Gracie and that was the beginning of, you know, a great bond, a great uh, relationship that me and her share for the past two years. It's not just a, a one-time thing where I see her once a year. We, we talk throughout the year constantly. She never knew her dad, so it was, in a sense, kind of harder for her to be in that environment where, you know, some people did know their mother or their father, so she wasn't able to kind of share those experiences of remembrance or, you know, moments that they've shared, so you really have to tailor the, the mentorship to the individual. Here's a shout out to you. I'll tell you, it's something else to give up your time to such a, a worthy cause. Reporting from Fort Knox, Kentucky for the Public Affairs Office, my name is Altav Nanavati.